Today we're going to talk about something called a user defined function inside PHP and this is especially an important episode for you to watch because you will be using user defined functions all the time when you code PHP code. So we talked about predetermined functions, which are functions that has already been made inside PHP and we can just use it right now. We don't actually have to create it first, but a user defined function is a function that we create that we can use later on inside our code. So to give you guys an example here, let's actually go ahead and write out a function, just the basic setup for a function, which is by writing function parentheses, curly brackets, and this is the basic setup for a function. Now, there's a couple of things we need in here. First of all, we actually need to write something inside the curly brackets so we can actually tell the function to do something. And we need to give the function a name. So in our case, we can just go ahead and call this one, you know, new calc with a big C, um, which is the name of the function. Now, when we call this function, it's gonna do whatever's inside our parentheses, oh sorry, not the parentheses, the curly brackets, which are in here. And for our example, we're gonna go ahead and tell it that when we call the function, we want it to take a number that the user has defined, or maybe something we de defined beforehand, and take 75% of it, and then echo out a string that says, here is 75% of what you wrote. And then it's gonna tell us what the actual calculation is. So, one thing I want to note out with functions, is that it's very important. Well, it's not very important. You can easily, you know, not follow this little rule here. But when you create functions yourself, you need to make sure that one function does one thing. So I've, I've seen people, and I've done it myself in the past, where I have one function that does a whole bunch of, you know, stuff all at once. Like, first of all, I would calculate 75% echo it out. And then afterwards, I would take the 75% and do something else with it. And suddenly, I end up with this function that does a whole bunch of stuff, meaning that I can only use it one place inside my website. Now a function is supposed to be something that you can use multiple times, many different places inside your website, so you avoid having to write the same code over and over again. So th that's the whole idea behind functions is that we don't wanna write stuff over again all the time. So one function should do one thing, so it's possible to use the same function over and over again. So Inside the curly brackets, we're gonna go ahead and create a variable, which is gonna be new number, I guess, equal to variable x multiplied by 0 0.75, which is gonna give us 75% of whatever variable x is. Now, variable x, we haven't actually created yet, uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and create it right now. So on top of our function, we're gonna say variable x is equal to let's say 100. So now what we're saying is that we want to take variable x and when we call this function, then we want to do something with variable x. Now underneath here, inside the curly brackets, we're gonna go ahead and create an echo. That's gonna echo out a string, which says here is 75% of what you wrote. Now we're just gonna pretend here that the user did actually write what x was equal to. So after the echo, we of course need to include the actual variable we have up here, the new number that we created. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it, paste it after the string with a punctuation between them. And now we have a function that simply takes you know x and takes 75% and writes out here 75% of what you wrote. Now we need to do one more thing because right now if I were to actually you know, use this function, it wouldn't actually work because we need to make sure we actually call the actual variable we're gonna use inside the function. Now it's important to note, you don't have to use, uh, you know, like data outside the function. So we don't have to use like a variable that's outside the function. We could easily just say that this in here is 100 times 75 and then you can just call the function and it's gonna calculate, you know, 75% of 100. Now, because I want to actually use a variable outside the function. We need to make sure inside the parentheses, we write which data we're picking up from the outside of the function. Otherwise, it doesn't know what variable x is. So inside the parentheses, we're gonna write variable x. So now it's actually gonna go looking for variable x outside the function. So now that we have this, we actually have the function created, but we haven't called the function yet. If I actually go into my browser, refresh, you guys can see we have nothing. 
And that's because we just created a function, we need to call it as well, just like we would with any other kind of predetermined functions inside PHP. So underneath here, we're just gonna go ahead and call out this function. So I'm gonna go ahead and say new calc parentheses semicolon. So now if I actually go to the browser, you guys can see we get, well, we do actually get a warning here. Ah, okay, yeah, I, I know why we get the warning. Uh, inside, when we call the function, we also need to make sure we do actually include variable x because you need to pretend like we're calling this part up here because variable x is inside the parentheses. We also need to put it inside a new calc function we actually call down here because otherwise it doesn't know, you know when to pick up variable x. Now, the cool thing about functions is that right now I do actually have variable x on top of my you know, written out function here, but you can put variable x any way you want as long as it comes before when you actually call the function down here. Because right now we don't know what variable x is at the moment when we actually create the function, but at some point, you know, much later in the code, when we do actually decide, okay, this is what variable x is, and now I want to call out new calculation. We can just simply write this piece of code down here and get the actual number. So if I save this, refresh, now we don't get an error. And it will actually tell us you know, 75% of 100 is 75%. So we can always go in and change variable x. And this is the really cool thing about functions because we have a bunch of code that does something. Let's say I need to calculate something again underneath here where I want to change, you know, variable x to maybe variable a. I can actually go in and say that variable a is equal to 10. And the new calc I can then change the variable x inside new calc to variable a because now it's going to refer to new calc and say okay we have a variable called a inside our parentheses so it's going to go in and replace variable x in here with variable a because we did, you know we did actually decide to do that down here and now it's going to go looking for variable a up here instead so if we go ahead and refresh the browser you guys will see we get here is 75 percent of what you wrote 7.5 so we should probably include like a break in here or something so we can actually see what's going on. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and echo out a break here. Like so. So now we can actually see the difference here. There we go. So functions is something that we don't, well, it can be a little bit confusing in the beginning, um, but you just need to know that you can write functions like so at the very top of your document preferably. So you actually have the function before you start calling it. Otherwise you can't actually find the function, but you need to make sure you have the function somewhere where you can, you know, call them. Um, and then you can simply write out, you know, the functions down here or somewhere else on the website. Now, a typical thing to do is to include a document that has all your functions in it. At least, you know, one PHP document with all the functions related to maybe users and one that's maybe related to, I don't know, calculations. So you can actually go in and, you know, have some kind of system with your functions inside your website. So this is the basic idea behind functions. And I could get a lot more deep into this. I think we're gonna stick with this for now since this is all we need to know in order to create something like a login system. So for now, we're just gonna go ahead and stick with this. And then later on, when we do actually get to the more complicated stuff, we'll actually get more, you know, in depth into functions. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.